Hello one and all, this is Luckless Lovelox, and this is Orwell. You guys probably have never heard of this game, and the only reason why I heard about it is one of you guys told me about it. So it's been on my radar for a little bit just because it looks so damn intriguing. It's kind of giving me those Her Story vibes, but it, it's definitely going to be a totally different game. Uh, essentially, we're someone that's spying on other people to determine whether or not they're terrorists. So this has a chance to be fairly controversial but uh, I don't know that much about it, so it also has a really good chance of being very interesting and very unique. So uh, without further ado, let's jump in. So what do we have here? Welcome, you have been accepted into Orwell. Please create a profile. Profile one, okay. Create. Congratulations, you have been selected for the Orwell test phase. Please create a profile. We get to enter, uh, select a picture. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, is that is that Hillary? <laughs> what do we look like? I don't know. Wh which one looks the most like me? Probably this one, to be honest, <laughs> right now. Um, hmm. It's a tough call. I like this one. I mean... Doesn't really look that much like me, but actually, with the, if I had a beard, I would I would look a lot like this. Okay, enter your name. Luckless Love Locks, does that work? Excellent. Here we go, this could be, oh, step one of three. We've got more to do. Did you know you are the first accepted applicant? Oh God, this is scary. You may now enter your email address. Note, entering your email address will allow us to inform you about updates on your case. The addresses entered will be handled with care and not be used for any other purposes. Oh, okay, it says optional. This is really cool. I wonder how this is gonna impact the game. So I'm gonna put in my uh, my Luckless Love Locks email. Uh, which you guys can contact me at if you want to. Feel free. Uh, this is gonna be weird. I wonder if I'm gonna get emails. If I do, I'll let you guys know. Be diligent, your work has severe impact. Please agree to the following terms. I'm aware that my actions may severely impact the lives of citizens of the nation. I will work thoroughly and judge objectively in the best of my belief. While working, I will adhere to the laws and jurisdiction of the nation. I feel like we're already like, just based on what we're doing, we're breaking the laws of the nation. Although I don't really know them. But... Uh, okay, I guess we have no choice. <laughs> There's no like, I do not agree, so let's, let's finish this off. Thank you for ensuring the safety of the nation's people. Your registration is now complete. So we're the first in this program. Oh. April 12th, 2017. So I'm not actually controlling anything right now. <laughs> Police record found. Oh man, this is already creeping me out. Oh man. So it was kind of giving the impression that that person who had a criminal record might have been involved. Episode one, the clocks were striking 13. This is being released episodically and uh, there's one every week. So that's not gonna be releasing videos. Uh, Sims or Sims? You're online, good. April 13th, sunny out. Call me Sims. I will be your advisor on Orwell. Together, we will form both the first and last line of defense against terrorism. 
So we're just some random person? <laughs> God, that's a lot of pressure. For this test phase, you are one of the first people to try out the Orwell system under real circumstances. Selected from thousands of applicants from across the globe. Okay, so we applied for this. We were just picked at random. Normally, congratulations would be in order, but as you can see from the footage, there has been an incident. So let's get started. I've activated the reader tool for you. Its purpose is storing bookmarks to online websites and documents for easy access and to highlight when there is new information to be investigated. First, I want you to be informed of the situation. Our leading newspaper, The National Beholder, will bring you up to speed. Okay, I guess we click on the reader. Feel free to browse the National Beholder. I've activated the profiler. Open the unknown person file once you're done. Unknown person, okay. Leading newspaper of the nation, fast, precise, honest. <laughs> this has got ads on the side. Dating site ads, what is this? Shaping visions bit by bit. Rosen Technologies. Bomb obliterates Freedom Memorial and kills three. Bonten. Supposed to be Boston, I guess. It's. Man, I'm, I'm telling you guys, I'm. I'm. Uh, this could be controversial, so bear that in mind. I don't know what to expect from this. Uh, explosion destroys the Freedom Memorial in Bonton. Three people killed. Five severely injured. Authorities receive strange letter. Okay, let's read more. Bonton at approximately 7:50 p.m. on Wednesday evening. I wonder if I should be like taking notes. I'm not sure. Uh, an explosive device detonated at the Freedom Plaza in Bonton. According to official police reports, three people were killed and at least five bystanders uh, were severely wounded. The Freedom Memorial was nearly completely destroyed. Police forces closed off the area immediately. Three people killed. Damn. Experts believe the attack was an act of terror, with police confirming that the explosive device was homemade and triggered from a short distance away using a cell phone signal. Police reports also confirm that, several hours earlier, an anonymous letter containing the first three stanzas of the German folk song, not, I'm going to try to pronounce it, it's not going to be right, actually I'll just read the English, but thoughts are free, had reached local authorities. Prime Minister Blaine, oh god, it's supposed to be Blair I guess, immediately issued a public press statement firmly condemning the assault and put the nation on high alert until the perpetrators have been brought to justice. Okay, so there are some more stories, I think. Negotiations in Trifolith failed. Trifolith, sorry. Pargesian president aborts negotiations with opposition. Violent riots in uh, Trifolith. Blaine encourages renewal. So I'll read all these. Peace negotiations in the riot-ridden Pargesian capital city, Trifolith, have been aborted without any result last night. Independent sources report that President Cassart abruptly cut off communication with opposition representatives as the latter presented a tangible plan for the organization of re-elections. Okay. Uh, the news about the premature cancellation of the negotiations caused thousands of people to resume demonstrations in the capital. It has been reported that demonstrators wearing hoods threw incendiary material into shop windows and onto cars. The police struggled to keep the situation under control. Prime Minister Blaine stated his worries about the negative developments regarding the political situation of the neighboring country, and has requested both sides to resume diplomatic discussions. Okay, I just want to read this part again. Independent sources report that President Kassar abruptly cut off communication with opposition representatives as the latter presented a tangible plan for the organization of re-elections. Oh, okay. Didn't want re-elections, I guess. Movie shooting completed. A hundred gray shadows. I, I, I get it. Valentine's Day 2018. Shooting of gray shadows. Uh, saga lasting four years. Finalized. Uh, third part of the saga to hit movie theaters next Valentine's Day. Is this important to us? I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to read everything. So let's just start with that. And then we'll gradually learn what we can ignore. After the shoot in the hills of Bonton. So that was in Bonton. Self-proclaimed visionary director 
Sumishi Aran announced that filming of his eagerly awaited romantic drama, A Hundred Grey Shadows, has finally come to an end. Announced via his Timelines profile yesterday, <clears throat> Twitter. The brash director said he was eager to begin post-production and the final editing stages before the conclusion to the Grey Shadows series would hit the cinemas on Valentine's Day next year. The third and final chapter in the Grey Shadows saga, previous release being a Grey Shadow and, get this, another Grey Shadow, was announced to be released almost four years ago, but was postponed numerous times due to production problems. Fans have speculated that this was largely due to the breakdown of Hollywood. They're actually calling it Hollywood. So there's real, they're not like totally making everything up. Um, Hollywood power couple Betty Avone and Mike McDeal, who've had long-lasting quarrels during the filming as a result. One production hand was reported to say that these spats were getting out of control, and the completion of any scene featuring both actors is nothing short of pulling teeth. When we reached out to Rhubarb Productions to get a comment, <laughs> it's like Rhubarb Productions? That's an interesting name. Um, to get a comment, they declined the rumors and claimed them to be more speculation. Let's, let's check out this unknown person file now. Profiler holds all known information on those we investigate. The file you have opened is for our main suspect. Okay, so it looks like we're filling this stuff out. The blue-haired woman that the CCTV footage shows before the assault is no stranger to the police. Take a look at the arrest record. Cassandra Watergate. Oh, I see it has all the stories here. The highlighted elements in the record are pieces of data that are able to be extracted. We call these elements data chunks. Hovering over data chunks will reveal their relevance to the case and any connections or information it may influence. Drag and drop all data chunks from the police database into a profile to upload them to our servers. So I'm supposed to go through and fill this stuff out. Okay. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what kind of mechanics to, to expect in this game. So I drag this over. Oh, shoot. Uh. Oh, okay, upload, okay. I thought it was like, I thought it was like submitting the file. Uh, June, so rest date, June 10th, 2016, charge assault on a police officer. Duncan Lloyd was the arresting officer and the holding facility is Bonton Central PD. Report. Suspect was arrested on site. I guess I could do this. Suspect was arrested on site after Officer Franklin oh, had been struck by an unknown object and became unresponsive. The protesters at the origin of the assault were forcibly moved, where the suspect was found kneeling and weeping on the group. When asked to lay on the ground with her hands behind her back, the suspect cooperated immediately. Doesn't, she doesn't sound guilty at all, according to that description. She was maybe with the protesters, maybe, but there's no evidence that she threw the object that struck the officer. Okay, very good. Pictures and names are crucial information for Orwell to identify a person. Information and documents can only become a data chunk when it can clearly be assigned to a target person. Add the reason for Miss Watergate's prior arrest that has been uh that has been on just has, that has just been unlocked we'll need this info to progress there's the resident for assault on police officer disable okay good with the data you extracted from the police record a new document can now be accessed now let me ask you a question do you believe in coincidence I do not. Find data revealing where she attacked the police officer and you will see what I mean. Where she attacked the police officer. So that unlocked. Oh, a new story. Is this woman a terrorist? Woman allegedly injured a police officer two weeks ago. Remains in custody. Trial scheduled for August. July 25th. Cassandra W. Simply... Uh, simple protester or anti-governmental terrorist photo uh bonton central police department a case that keeps the media and the public guessing cassandra w who had allegedly injured a police officer severely two weeks ago 
is still being held in police custody. The young woman is accused of having hit the victim's head with a large brick. The incident occurred during a rampage at the Freedom Plaza as part of a demonstration. So the same place where the bombing took place. Against the newest amendments to the government's model project, the safety bill. Against the newest amendments to the government's model project, the safety bill, okay. Due to the chaotic nature of the scene, police have not yet been able to connect the crime to the accused. Cassandra W., who is an artist by, profess by profession, has denied the accusations completely and has asked her fans to show their support. A trial has now been scheduled for mid-August. The case received nationwide attention when Catherine Delacroix, Secretary of Security, labeled the alleged perpetrator, alongside the other writers, as anti-government terrorists. So am I supposed to like... The exact same location as the assault. Yeah, but that seems like a place to protest, right? Then she turns up there right before the explosion. Surely not a coincidence. As you know, Miss Watergate is still running around freely. We should find out why. We should also gather more background information on her. I want to know who we're really dealing with. So, artist. Ah, uh, yes. One who does street art by blowing memorials to pieces by any chance? Great, you have found another document. Before we go on, let's clarify your job and how it affects mine, shall we? You have extracted all the info I already knew about Miss Watergate. Starting now, I'm going into this case blind. Okay, so we're on our own. The Orwell Ethical Codex dictates that investigators like yourself are the only ones allowed to access the documents of target persons. Advisors like me only get to see the data provided by the investigators. We will then draw conclusions and request action. Your primary job is to provide information you deem important. Never give away incorrect or misleading data. Okay, so we can affect how Symes perceives this person. You may hit disable on a data chunk you do not want to pass on to Orwell. However, some data chunks might be necessary to progress on the case. Interesting. Okay, let's see what else we can find about Cassandra. Portfolio. Oh, this is Cassandra's uh, portfolio. Painters, artist port. Welcome to the port of Cassandra Watergate. Hi, I'm Cassie, a colorful inhabitant of Wonderland right behind the rainbow. Glad you found me, okay. <laughs> well, she has a way with words. Finally found the courage to quit my dull day job, focus on my art career. I put my uh, stuff on portfolio. Below you will find a handpicked selection of my latest works. You can browse through them by clicking on the arrows on the left and right side of the pictures below. See something you like? Well, of course you do, because it's freaking awesome, isn't it? Leave a message on my Utel account, the Cassie92. Okay, well, that's important. Tell me which piece you'd like. Oh. I'm going to make a fine art print and ship it right away to your doorstep. Best thing? Free of charge. Now off you go and have fun. Free of charge. Interesting. Good. You found a chat handle. That will allow us to overhear any conversation on that account. What? The listener has now been unlocked. New conversations will appear whenever they are started. Um, this could be important. The thing is, like, what do I want? Like, do I support what's going on here? Like, do I just help them without thinking about it? Uh, or do I try to, like, do I feel like Cassandra maybe isn't guilty? And do I kind of try to throw them off? Ugh. Okay. Uh, I think... I don't know if that's important or not. Listener. There's nothing going on on the chat. What else? Okay, what else do I have here? Physique. Background. Personality. Activities. Aliases. Contacts. OK. 
Okay. Hmm, interesting. We should find out what the job was. Personality. That could probably go for personality, right? So you're under the impression that our wonderful Miss Watergate is really living in Wonderland? Somehow I would doubt that. Call it intuition. People's lives are hanging in the balance here. What if you pass me something I cannot identify as wrong so easily? Okay, so we... You've got to be more careful next time around, okay? So trying to, they're trying to show us that like some of the stuff isn't relevant. I thought that might go towards like your personality. My beloved furball Kiki, definitely the only family I need. Oh, there's stuff in her picture. Uh, yeah, that beauty is me. I was never sure about the title though. The businessman's forgotten daughter or victim of traditionalism in pink. What do you think? Okay, that's gonna be important. Daughter of entrepreneurs. Oh, listeners up. Session, unknown person. Hey you, Josie. Can't seem to find my credit card. I assume you took it, right? Uh, you got me, Sherlock. This is creepy. Middle, middle of buying all of Bonton with that platinum card I lifted from your desk. Okay, that's... Let's send that up. Can't stop me now. She stole a credit card of an unknown person? If you're able to find out who she's talking about, we could lock it uh, for the owner. Okay. What does it say here? Can't stop me now. Well, luckily for you, I don't mind you going on a splurge as long as you pick up some wine for dinner. Wine? What does Joseph Langley, my fearless attorney and all-around badass, have in mind? It's like, just says, says his name. <laughs> Wait, she stole the credit card of her lawyer? Really? Well, we should be able to track the credit cards of this Langley down and lock it for him. Done. No, really, no need to thank me, Mr. Langley. You now have a profile for a related person. It can be accessed via the profiler. Data chunks will only appear for targeted persons and can only be extracted into their relevant profiles. I see. Okay, I'm just gonna read through this. Uh, probably just a business, uh, hold on. Probably just a business call from one of his favorite clients. Actually, yes, that's exactly what's gonna happen. Very serious uh, business, Cassandra. Thought as much. Guess I better pick up shitloads of wine. I'd like to get this client of yours buzz to handle all that business. One bottle should be fine. She's a lightweight. Oh, whatever. I guess I shouldn't pick up some of those party pills from Big Pharma. AKA my parents then. Ah, so pharmaceutical entrepreneurs, I guess. Is there, is there such a thing? Oh, come on. I was only teasing. Speaking of your parents, when are you going to tell them about us? Okay, so this, there's definitely a relationship here. Uh, yeah, maybe got to go now. Text you later. Okay, so this is this is important. Watergate, pharma, entrepreneurs. That does ring a bell. But let's um let's go back and look at Joseph Langley. Sandra Watergate client of lawyer. Do we know anything else about him from this conversation? It doesn't look like it. This is pretty cool. Uh, actually, before I do that, I want to look at the rest of these pictures, see if I can see anything. Christmas present for my darling. So there's a picture. to be a private piece, but ah well, I'd have a hard time keeping it to myself. No, I can't. That's not like a picture of him. That's all we have to go on right now. It's not. That's it. All right, let's check out these other stories. Um, Watergate Pharmaceuticals. Let's read that. Company jobs products. Products. Watergate Pharmaceuticals enriches lives with our industry-leading range of products. 
making an important contribution to your well-being. Bethlehem Blue. Blue, you find a small selection of our most popular products. Uh, a hexital forte. Cough drops that fight against irritation of the throat based on natural herbs. Compensum, activating pills against migraines and strong headaches. Focusin, medication that increases concentration and cerebral performance. Ferule, active. Medication of the alleviation of erythritic joint pain. Methorin, antidepressant to help stabilize your emotions. Spiron, all around painkiller that dissolves in water. Zemirolin, night. Soothing pills for a good night's rest against occasional sleeping problems and for acute application when suffering from insomnia. That's it. Oh, there's 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 more uh, company. The name Watergate has been inseparable from progression and improvement of pharmaceutical research for more than 80 years. Okay, they they were entrepreneurs 80 years ago. Uh, Watergate Pharmaceuticals is one of the nation's leading companies in the area of medicine, and at the same time is the largest medication exporter to all areas of the world. The business Watergate Pharmaceuticals Inc has been in the hands of the Watergate family, owning and managing the firm ever since its foundation in 1931. Bruno Watergate is the chief executive officer. Um, Watergate, a grandson of our founder, Edgar Watergate. Apart from working in the family business, Mr. Watergate is also the founder of the Central Pharmacy Congress, head of the charity foundation of Children of Harges. Whoa, that smile, <laughs> that's creepy. Dr. Alice Watergate, head of research and development, co-partner of the firm with her husband, Bruno, holds a PhD in biology and chemistry. She leads the research and development laboratories here at Watergate Pharmaceuticals. There she is, junior COO. Carrying the family tradition to the next generation, Alice and Bruno's daughter, Cassandra, will soon be joining the executive ranks. Her business acumen and unique flair will write the next chapter for her 85 years um, strong legacy. Pointed to be CEO of a pharmaceutical company, probably by one of her parents. Being an artist and a junior COO seems quite odd. She also mentioned she had quit a dull job, didn't she? Yeah. So, profile update. Father. So that should create new profiles, right? Uh, now we see keeping it a family affair. Documents that you have already reviewed may be updated from time to time as events unfold. The reader will notify you when that happens. The National Beholder just published a new article. You may want to take a look uh, and see if there's any new information available. So let's just see. Yeah, so we've got Alice Watergate and Bruno Watergate set up as relationships it's pretty cool guys um i'm gonna wrap up this first episode here and uh i'm probably gonna continue on and try to release like as much of uh the first part of this game um as possible like in one day before um and then like in a week from now the next part comes out and i'll be able to just kind of try to present as much of that on one day as possible to you guys but i'm gonna wrap up this episode here let me know what you think of this game it's it's intriguing. I didn't. I guess I didn't know what to expect. Um, the one issue I'm kind of that I kind of have with this is it. It just kind of guides you to the information that uh, is interesting, and you have to decide whether or not it's pertinent. You're not really looking at the stuff and then like typing it in or like deciding out of all this text what's important. It just it highlights basically everything. So I kind of don't like that. I, I like the idea of like reading the stuff not having any highlights and deciding what's important but i don't know how they could do that it would be it would be more a more difficult implementation but i'm intrigued by this game guys let me know what you think this is luckless love Luck signing off for now and i love you all <laughs>